Jay Costa here, welcome back to the channel. So I just finished my full kitchen remodel behind me here and I wanted to share with you my favorite ways that I got this kitchen to look completely custom. But first, before I get started you guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning into the video. My name is Jay Costa, like I said, I'm a local real estate agent and investor here in Northern New Jersey. If you get any value out of this video at all, please smash that like button down below. Truly, truly appreciate it. it. Really helps me grow the channel. Also, let me know in the comment section what you think about my kitchen and what you think about my tips and tricks on how I got my kitchen to look completely custom and unique and different than everyone else. Now, onto the video. All right, guys, so let's get started in the kitchen. The first tip that I'm gonna give you to make your kitchen remodel look completely custom are these things right here, and you see them all over, and these are what are called side panels. And what these side panels are for most manufacturers are really just different doors that you don't put hardware on, but you mount them to the side of all of your upper cabinets and lower cabinets. And you can see it really finishes off the look of a fully custom kitchen, even though these you know, cabinets were um, you know, not custom made at all. They were um, you know, just ordered from a manufacturer. These are actually made by uh, a company, Fabiwood been very happy with them so far. Side cabinets really add a lot of style to your kitchen. Now next would be what's called a light valance. A light valance, this piece right here, it's a trim piece that you put on the bottom of your upper cabinets. And what a light valance does is it hides all of these wires for the under cabinet lighting when you're looking at it from eye level. And as you can see, I put them all over on all of the upper cabinets and it really adds a nice trim, a nice finish to the bottom of the upper cabinets. Now next is this thing right here. This is a pot filler. I have never had one of these. My wife requested it and I'm glad she did because I don't know how much she uses it or doesn't use it, but it looks nice. Now this uh, hardware was not expensive. It's not Kohler. Uh, Kohler was back ordered for a long time. I don't even remember the name of the brand or anything like that. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in, in the description box down below uh, for this specific faucet, but you have to have your plumber add a hot water line and that is sitting directly over the uh, oven range. I have it slightly off center to the right in order to reach all of the uh, pots that would be on this range and that brings us to my next tip in order to have a custom looking kitchen and that is you should try if the budget allows anyway you should try to have at least a 36 inch oven range this oven range is made by Ilve it's an Italian manufacturer but just the fact that it's 36 inches instead of the standard 30 inches that you see in apartments and condos and things like that really adds a lot of substance to the kitchen here. Now the style of the range is really nice as well, but obviously it's gonna be a little bit more expensive for a Italian uh, oven range like this when compared to like your standard uh, GE or Samsung. There's nothing wrong with those at all. Actually in, in some ways they're better, but this does make your kitchen look uh, very, very custom and unique. Now on top of the oven range, this is my greatest achievement, maybe of all time, after my daughter. And this is a fully DIY, I did this all myself. I created this Venetian plaster range hood. So what I did with this, I've never done anything like this before. I kind of looked up YouTube videos, just like we all do. I basically got this blower right here off of Amazon or Home Depot or whatever. And I framed it out on the bottom and I framed it out on the top. And then I basically covered it all with quarter inch sheetrock and then I uh, spackled it and then we put the, the plaster on top. We got the plaster, it's the exact same color as this cabinet that we have. Like I said, this cabinet that we have is made by Fabiwood and it is not bright white, it is called Dove White. It's a slightly off color white and I made sure that they matched perfectly. They don't have to match. You could go with something different which would make your uh, kitchen look very, you know, even more unique. My next tip to make your kitchen custom and unique looking is to go all the way to the ceilings with your cabinets and as well as add this trim here. Now, this is an old colonial house built in the 1960s, so I only have eight foot ceilings in here, so I didn't, I didn't have much of a choice. But you could have 10 foot ceilings, and if you go all the way to the ceiling and put trim on top, crown molding on top, you're gonna have a substantial and unique looking kitchen cabinet setup, I promise you. The drawback is obviously that it's expensive. It's pricey to 
uh, you know, add that much more cabinets, upper cabinets, as well as the trim and the, and the trim work uh, that's needed to install it. My next tip to make your kitchen completely custom, and this is maybe the easiest one, is go out of the box a little bit with the hardware. Don't get your standard hardware at Home Depot or Lowe's. Try to find something pretty unique. I know it's tough to swallow to pay 15 bucks for a, for a, a little knob like this or something, but it really adds a lot of character to the kitchen. Now these are from a company called Rejuvenation. Uh, my wife found them and she convinced me on them and I'm happy that she did. These are not just your standard shiny brass, these are actually like unfinished brass. So they get worn naturally, if you could see that on the camera, over time. And it really adds a lot of character to the kitchen. It makes it look way less cookie cutter and way more custom and unique. Another tip, this is nothing truly unique, but it is a farmer sink like this one. Now you see these fairly often, but what I would say is I wouldn't go with a cheap one. I'd get a quality one. This one is made by Kohler. I will put a link in the uh, description box down below. It's, it's very substantial, it's very heavy, but it's also very well made. I believe they have a, you know, a long warranty, maybe even a lifetime warranty. Now the negative obviously is it's harder to install and it's also not cheap. I think I paid about probably $1,200 at the time for this sink, but it's fully cast iron and it'll last a lifetime and it'll outlast me. This brings us to our next kitchen tip and that is to get a bridge faucet. This is not expensive. This is not Kohler. Kohler was back ordered forever when I was doing this kitchen. This is just some faucet I found on Amazon or my wife found on Amazon. I will put the link in the description box down below so you can check it out. This was pretty cheap, but it has been standing up to the abuse so far. And we've been using this kitchen like this for you know, probably almost a year at this point and it still looks okay and it works fine. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Let me know what you think about my kitchen and let me know what you think about my tips on how to get your kitchen looking completely custom like this one. Give me a like down below and if you wanna find out more about this channel and what we do, give me a subscribe, subscribe to the channel as well as find me on TikTok and on Instagram, Real Jay Casa. See you later.